Hi everyone, this is Somi. Oh my god, it's been so long since I took the last video. So like many people were being curious about like she's everywhere, where is she? Let's just put it I'm everywhere. Let's just put that as mystery still. So today I wanted to talk about the fashion differences between Korea, Japan and China because I've been living in many different countries until now and I've seen a lot of different Asian people and you know, like Korean, Japanese, Chinese people look quite similar as appearances but there are so many differences actually and I was talking about the facial difference in the last video and I'm gonna talk about fashion differences today First, it's about the exposure so compared to Korean and Chinese girls, I don't think Japanese people uh, expose a lot of their skin. So even in really hot summer, they don't really uh, show their legs. They wear long skirts and they wear long pants, but I didn't really see Japanese girls wearing short pants. So regarding this DS style fashion as well, so the thing I'm wearing right now, even if Japanese girls wear this kind of clothes, uh, they wear over the t-shirts. They don't wear uh, just this vestiaire style. But one thing I realized, uh, which was really unique, Japanese girls tend to show their arms much more than Korean girls. So they wear no sleeve like this one, uh, in especially summer when it's really hot, but they never expose their legs. The second thing is baggy style so basically i think japanese girls wear uh, the most baggy style really baggy clothes and not really tight clothes recently korean people are starting to uh, wear really baggy clothes because it's also kind of a trend as well but it's not only a trend in japan so i've seen japanese people fashions like i was looking for the material and when i was traveling in japan about like 10 or 20 years ago like they were wearing really baggy clothes and the first impression i got uh about japanese people's fashion was that their clothes are really baggy and you know what if you see the newcomers taking the interview in japanese companies you can see they are wearing even baggy suits as well but regarding china i think all oh, their fashion kind of tight clothes they show their body style and women tend to feel like that's how they can show uh, their fashion style next is general fashion style so in korea i think the popular style among girls is more like cool style and in japan you know it's very cute and lovely and china the fashion like trendy fashion i get the image from china is more like sexy style you can uh, find out the this kind of characteristics even in traditional uh, platforms as well because you can see hanbo which is korean traditional costume is a really cool you know very convenient for the any kind of activity and for kimono, you know, it's really cute. And um, for chipao, which is Chinese uh, traditional costume, it's really sexy. So I think I also got the impression from these kind of uh, traditional costumes as well. One more thing I found it uh, interesting about Japanese fashion is uh, they wear a lot of different kinds of hats. Beanie, Bearer. Breton. I think in Korea, we usually uh, wear baseball caps and that's the main kind we use but Japanese people wear really a lot of different kinds of hats and I found that it's really attractive Regarding the winter fashion, you know, in Korea, we have to uh, use the long coat like every time we go outside because it's freezing, it's going under like minus 15 degrees in the winter. So uh, we usually wear like just one kind of clothes, you know, uh, when we go outside. There's no other choice. Japan and especially Tokyo where I live, uh, well, it's gonna be a little bit different from uh, other parts like, you know, like the northern parts, which is uh, a lot colder. But in Tokyo, we have a lot of different choices 
so we can wear coats and also like trench coats even in winter and we can wear the long coats as well so basically we have so many more fashion choices in Japan in winter Regarding China, I cannot really say because, well, I met my Chinese friends when I was living in England and Australia and it's not that cold in these kind of countries compared to Japan and Korea so I didn't really see the winter fashion but I think it's gonna be so diverse in China because it's so huge and there are so many different kinds of weather as well I want to experience and see directly how it's like in China someday the last characteristic I want to talk about is uh, about general fashion characteristic which is wherever we go, fashion is really important You guys must have experience when you're walking down the street like it's freezing outside and there is a girl who's wearing just like really thin stocking and like wearing really short skirt and like she's so struggling for her fashion and oh I respect her like that I have seen in Korea, Japan and China and everywhere even in the western countries so this is the culture going over every border every country and also when girls wear makeup uh, regarding the lips, Korean girls uh, make it quite pink and red quite thick but I think Japanese girls make the lips color quite light not really like strong color and I have the impression Chinese girls put the really red color and that's kind of a symbol of uh, beauty so today I was talking about the differences of fashion between Korea, Japan and China I hope you guys enjoyed this content because I really love making this kind of content talking about cultural differences and I will make sure that I'll bring more interesting content next time Thank you so much for uh, the comments always and I always appreciate that and I will be looking forward to any kinds of comments criticism and also like praising and also any kinds of opinions Thank you very much and see you next time, bye!